Well, back on Iowa News, a student-led vigil in Bucks County sends an important message to victims and survivors of sexual violence. The group gathered at the old Bucks County Courthouse last night, where there was also a focus on xenophobia in the wake of the deadly spa shootings in Atlanta, Georgia. Our Dan Koob has the story. Those who attended the event are hoping to look towards our future leaders for guidance. Faces line the Bucks County Courthouse in Doylestown for a vigil for those affected by sexual violence. We are here today to stand in solidarity against racism, xenophobia, misogyny, violence, and sexism. A student organized event focused on figuring out how to make it stop. It's important to keep talking about this because this keeps going on and it will continue to keep happening until we all recognize what's actually going on and get to the root of the problem. And we are over the list of precautions we are told to take to protect ourselves. Instead of protecting women, why don't we educate men and boys? A cause only emboldened by the killing of eight in three different Atlanta spa and massage parlors and a rallying cry to embrace our Asian friends, neighbors, and loved ones. They know that change needs to happen and they know that they're the ones who can do it. So I think as a parent <laughs> and um, as a friend to these kids, it's really important for all of us to give them the platform to speak up. A flood starts in the basement, unwanted and unexpected. Poems, signs, resources, and most importantly, attention. What can I do to support? What can I do to not just be a spectator to these terrible events? How can I reach my community the best way I can? Because I'm not going to sit at home and watch everything happen in the world. These students, just juniors at Central Bucks West, have no intentions of stopping until they can affect real change. Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.